All right, here we go again at B&J's Custom. Uh, I just thought I'd shoot a quick little video. Uh, this is the same motor. This is the 6.0 board to a 6.2. I made a few changes on here. Um, first change, don't mind the paint. I'm just testing the color because the car is burgundy. And um, this color right here, uh, I'm going to put some black primer behind it. And it should darken up. But uh, as of right now, I'm just testing that color. I didn't even paint it the full way. I just shot a little bit on there to see what it looked like. Um, okay, um, what I did was I changed out these springs. As you can see, cut this light on. As you can see right here, I'm in the process of changing this spring. I changed out all these springs right here to the blue beehive spring. And let me give you a part number. Well, let's see. Here it is, right here. Part number. I got these from Summit. And these are the Chevrolet Performance uh, Blue Beehive Springs. Anytime, and I mean anytime you add a cam to a motor, you need to pull off the original springs, which look like this here. And then you need to add these blue beehive springs so you see this is the last one in the box the rest of these right here is just the old ones i'll keep them i'll keep them just in case i need them for something else but they are not strong enough to hold the uh the load the load of a cam so you need to change them out to some stronger uh valve springs uh what else i also did pick up at summit was i also picked up this part here this is the piece that this is the piece that I was talking about yesterday. Uh, for those of you who know, when you use these eight, when you use these eight twenty-three heads, as you can see right there, when you use these eight twenty-three heads, the valve guide holes right here are round. So you have to go buy these. Summit also sells these. Uh, here's the part number. They like ten ninety-nine at Summit. And if you turn them over on the back, you'll see they got the round hole. And they actually, they line up with the holes in here, as you can see. They lined up. They lined up all the way through. So, um, the reason why I'm telling you that is because, is because if you have regular heads, I'm going to show you this one. This is a GM one. This is a this is for cathedral, cathedral port, and if you look at it, it looks exactly the same as this one right here. They both look the same, but if you check it, they don't line up. They're different. So if I take this one and I set it in here, well, I can't set it in there because the I'm pulling the bow spring out. But let me try this one over on this side. Okay, if I set this in here. Over here on this side, the holes do not line up. As you can see, there's no hole there. There's a hole there. There's no hole. There's a hole there. There's no hole here. Here. And there's this kind of a hole right there. So they don't line up. So you can't use. And see, these right here are for square port heads. I mean, for. No, excuse me. For cathedral port heads. And if you don't know what a cathedral port head is, I'm going to show you. On this motor right here, this is a cathedral port head right here. This comes on, you know, mostly your basic um, uh, your basic 5.3 engine, stuff like that. You have to be careful with that because that's a cathedral port. And then when you come over here to the 823s, they're square port. they high flow square port heads. You have to make sure your intake matches with this um because there is two different style intakes you just like it's two different style heads you got you got a square port head square port intake and you got a um to fit a square port head and then you got a cathedral port intake to fit a cathedral port head which is the one i showed you over here on this motor right here see this block here that's sitting up here 
this has 823 heads so this is going to be a square port let me show you this square port so you have to be careful when you're doing that so well, like I said, what I'm doing right now is I'm changing out these valve springs. Um, I already showed in another video how to do it. As you can see right here, they got these two little keepers that sit right off in there. You take a tool like this right here, and you stick it in that, that hole down there, and you squeeze down on it, and then you take a magnet, and you pull these keepers out right here. Now, once I pull this tool off, the spring is going to come up out of there, and then I'll put the new spring in, I'll mash it back down, and then I'll slide those keepers right back in this little slot right here. So that's what I got going on. Plus, I got these from, um, oh, let me go back. These right here, these valve springs were $78 from Summit. Um, I also got the tool to install the, uh, install the, uh, to install the crank pulley or the harmonic balancer I'll just say it like that and there it is that's a billet I mean an ICT billet tool there's that part number I um, only paid uh, $20 for this and like I said those were $10.99 a piece and these blue valve string springs were $78 so um, uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I was giving you on a little quick little video. Um, uh, I'm gonna be ordering the. Um, um, I already have the F body oil pan. I'm gonna be ordering the F body um, pickup tool, and then this engine is gonna be done. Uh, this is B and J's custom. Um, my IG is Diesel Mechanic Eight. Um, my email is dieselmechanic8 at gmail.com. My phone number 318-701-0629. And we out.